Welcome, noobs. Good morning or afternoon, depending on where it is, where you are. But it's about 7 a.m. over here. And I just wanted to share with you that it's Thursday. You know what Thursday means? Woo! In Legend of Rotera, that means the weekly vault. So we are going to open up our weekly vault and get a bunch of free stuff. I love how much stuff this game gives you, especially with some expansions coming out. We want as many of uh, these ones, these green ones. I don't know what they're called. I know these are prismatic shards. These ones? I don't know. I forget. Anyways, we're going to open that and go over that. So what is a weekly vault? Well, starting out, your weekly vault essentially is consisted of three chests. We have three chests now, and you might be like, well, I mean, don't you have three chests? Yes. However, they start all as three bronze chests and as you get more xp for just simply playing the game of any game mode throughout the week it levels up and as you level up you get upgraded rewards right so essentially um what you're kind of looking at here is um these would be three bronze and then one of them will turn to silver and then another one turns to silver and then another one turns to silver and then it goes gold and then from gold it goes to whatever uh i think whatever this one is and there's actually one more tier above this the max level is like 13 on the chest rewards and then from 14 on you get an additional uh capsule which Next week, I'll get there, and I'll show you, and we can go through that. Uh, I didn't play a whole lot this one, but essentially a bronze chest would have two cards. A silver chest would have three cards, including at least one rare. A gold chest, which we see here, we're going to be expecting four cards, including at least one rare. This is a platinum chest. Um, ten cards, including at least two rares, and the one after this, looking at uh, something on another screen over here, is uh, after Platinum comes Diamond. And that's 15 cards, including at least three rare. And then every now and then they have a chance to upgrade when I go to open that, and then that, you know, it's just kind of whatever. Um, it's kind of hard to show what that is. Um, and then the capsules themselves that you would be getting as you level up just kind of give you uh, commons and rares and it has a chance like you can get some wild cards but let's open it and go from here this down here i'm actually not entirely sure what this is but i'm sure i'm gonna find out so let us open <gasps> open the vault oh yeah oh it's a champion card cool that's awesome so let's do it let's go <laughs> continue first and foremost the golden chest is open what do we get extra copy so we got a couple shards there um let's see we got a cracking ice burst card grant an enemy frostbite me at the next round start Ooh, nice frostbite is simply kind of what you would expect it would be in as far as other games go right so you're going to frostbite them as soon as their next round starts it's good to play on defense if you think they might attack you and uh, next round and possible engine could actually save you an extra turn. Um, I'm sure there's some more tactics out there. The LOR experts, if any of you creators come to this channel and watch any of this, please give me tips, please give me advice, and please share me your knowledge. I'm trying to climb here, trying to learn. Um, we also got an obedient Drake Hound. When an ally attacks, I attack with it. Lovely. Uh, Sting Officer, it's an elusive Nexus Strike. I actually just played a, uh, somebody had this in their deck. It was, uh, they had a bunch of these and team I was playing flash bombs and um, puff caps in my deck. Talk about a rough time. Barely won that one. All right, next one. Ooh, look at that, 350 shards. That must be the total from the previous screen. Ooh, the, we got a common wild card. So a wild cards essentially are you can pick any card of that tier and get it without having to use any shards. I have to spend a single real world dollar. So I absolutely dig that. Now we got a landmark over here. Countdown 9, Summon a Frost Guard Thrall. Essentially landmarks, you play it, and then every turn or every round, this counts down, and then it does something. This one, after nine turns, it does a Frost Guard Thrall, which I would imagine is probably pretty strong. 
if you have to wait nine turns. When I'm summoned, or once you've equipped an ally this game, create a gem in hand. Equipped an ally? I'm not sure how that would work, but that sounds interesting. Uh, typically these keywords here, when you're not in this, you can actually open it up and mouse over it and kind of see from there. Uh, spawn two, draw two, eye of the Nagakaka Boris. Naga Ka Boris. That's a tough one. All right. Ooh, platinum chest. And this, again, this was something from the, uh, and you can randomly upgrade slots too, so. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually a rare. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Um, yeah, so now. Okay, let's see. This is a double attack. That's cool. And, and all right. So what do we got the shards? Yep, 526. Maybe you get also shards on the side, so they just give you additional shards, which is cool. Getting all my shards that I spent on the deck that I've been playing with um, back and getting ready for the uh, next expansion to uh, mess around with some cards. We got a Jagged Cutlass, um, Furious Fela, Folk, Walking Sands, more shards. Okay, that's cool. Getting some cards, getting some cards, some more shards. Uh, and last but not least, we got the champion card. We just got Senna. That's what I'm talking about. That is pretty cool. Um, because I do have Lucian already, I believe, and I just didn't have a Senna. So, I can make a pretty fun, uh, Lucian Senna deck. In theory, I can. I don't actually have a ton of cards. But anyways, that's the weekly vault. Um, let's get a total here. I got 12 commons, 3 rares, 1 champion, 1300 of this uh, these sh just normal shards, and that's it for this week on the weekly vault. Uh, let's see if we can actually get to max rank and even above next week, just so I can show you what you can look forward to just by simply playing the game and what you can get for free. Alright, see you later noobs.